before you enter this video right most importantly right welcome to vlogmas day one right hope you hope you guys will enjoy this whole vlogmas from day one to day 24 to day 25 because you know christmas day we go in life all you do forget her, right but before we start this video right i would like to say um we annual christmas she coming on the 24th of december the day we will be going around the village and giving back to our community as a team as a as a small youth team that came into the top earlier right we did it we did it three times already we did it for the easter we did it for around august vacation right and we're doing it and we just do it for christmas right so we want to keep that rotating right so this year this year we will be going around the village again you know and giving back Right, so the children putting a smile on the kids' face because they know in this time, right, the children really need to smile on you. So, if any donation, any help out or anything, right, like toys, snacks, because last year we ended up giving 173 bags, we ended up making 173 snack bags, right, we ended up um, getting 30 girls' toys, 50 boys' toys, right, 60 toys in all, right, and it was successfully done with the whole team all year. Right, and this year we're looking to go out and do that same thing. So, like, if you want to help out in any way, right, the number will be on the screen throughout the whole video. You could WhatsApp me, you could contact me, right, and you know, we could work with that, right, and it will be it will be much appreciated right because that will help us put a smile on our child face you know because it's christmas christmas is when everybody will come together when everybody will be happy together you know and giving a child something and just watching them smile right is everything to me and everything towards the whole team and that does make me feel you know much yeah, that does put a smile on my face that does make my heart feel you know so you know, let me jump into this video. This video is all about how to clean a tattoo and how to make a good tattoo dog, right? I'll be talking to you guys, you know, on how to make a good tattoo dog and stuff. So, for all the hunters, all the young hunters coming up, all who wanted to or wanted to know how to clean a tattoo, all who never see a tattoo, right? In this video, you will see that. So, hope you guys enjoy this video that coming, right? So, you know, enjoy. The boy, right? He created a crew of wild and adventurous people, right? You understand? Them people is some kind of mad people, you know, right? You know the name? The name is Three Nature Boys, right? So, guys, you could go in and watch some kind of mad thing them people be doing. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So you're done now. This is today vlogmas number one. Only we starting off right on how to clean a tattoo today, right? So my father went in the bush last night with his partner, right? I didn't get to go. I was not able to go last night, but um, he come back. The um, the dog and them whole long one, right? Close home there, you know. Close, 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 cause he went early and he come back early, so you know. And the pen one in a bamboo stool, so. This evening when he come from work, right? Um, me and he might go and we go and answer that trap for that next one, right? But um, I'll carry all you, do all yourself, right? So, this is the fella here, all yeah, them dog and them hold it down, she by Maniko and them, right? So, I go in and clean up this fella here, right? So, some people does um, does burn it, right? But when you burn it, you just get dirty clean. You know, yeah, there's other scrub it plenty, plenty to take out the blackness when you burn it, right? But I, I prefer hot water, so I go in and chop them in this bucket here. Chop them in this bucket, go for the hot water, and come back. You know, but the hot water, the hot water does take, take it out, take out the um, thing real easy, right? It's that simple way to clean your tattoo, you know? So vlogmas number one, hope you guys enjoy this all your Christmas coming. You know, it have plenty of vlogs coming for you guys every day. From now 
April the 25th of December, all yeah. you remember, the 25th of December, we go in live, all yeah. right? I inviting six children to come to come out to the live on that day. And plus, we have we um Christmas tree giveaway, snack bags and toys, right? That coming on the 24th of December, Christmas Eve. Me and the team, we going around the village and giving snack bags and stuff. So if you want to donate, you could hit me up on this number on the screen, 2728965. Right? If you want to help out in any way, right? Hit me up, 272, 272-8965 all year, right? Because the only one we had none is up, you know? To make you try and happy for Christmas because the country done in our state already, right? We had to do everything that we can as leaders, as you know, as people who... Have a good heart inside. We had to keep the smile on the chair and face because the chair is the most important thing right now. Right? So, we go in all day. We think so. I go in for the hot water. Right? And I'll come back. Right, okay, guys. So, I now bring the hot water. Technical stuff. Move the pot around because our steam does end up going in here and it's still one spot. You know, and you want to go. Leave me bucket and make sure it has to get the. Hot water, hot water is a cleaner, clean all yeah? right? You go see when we finish and touch them. Right, so the next step, I'm going for more sharp knife all yeah? Ooh. First thing I want to take out is the under part of the tattoo. That's the first thing when you're doing hot water because that does get back hard and that does have the meat sticky. Then that doesn't come out when it um, get cold. So you have to take out the under part of it, you know, the foot part everything first. See how wide the meat already feels burning in it. All here that be black and here that is scrub all the blackness and all kind of thing. Okay. Right, so see nothing in the other part. It's so like a 7 pound to 8 pound tattoo. Okay, cool. So when I'm done all yeah, when I don't skip for this part, I'll come back with you guys. And I'm sure yeah, when I start skipping the back. This is for all who had the experience in cleaning a tattoo. All the hunters go know what I'm talking about with the hot water and the um the fire. You know the fire is an easier way to take out the um you think from it but you know it's faster but it is hard to do too much work when you finish doing it okay guys i'll come back with you guys. So how did it hold on the um the tattoo? Right, most of the um thing don't come out. Right, all that you know, I just to wash out. And so they kind of make it easier because when they hold it down to, to hold on a tattoo, that's really hard as far dog. A dog with a big mouth does have to pull along this tattoo because you know tattoo have a shell and they are real thing now, but and to hold on a tattoo. It's only fire. Fire. I one thing a dog had a real speed when you go long at. When you hear people long at a two, a dog had a be top class. So you always have to make sure your meat clean enough, you know. You don't want to get a man a dirty tattoo. 
to make sure when they come and there's all kind of problem here, there's really head on all you know some people just cut out their head but yeah, there's really head So how they hold it down, it's how the blood stain on it, that don't come out too. Right, but you just scrub in it, it's like you already have um, the dirt, that come out from it, you know. See like watch, thank you, watch out. The dirt coming out from it and... See how nice it, white. You know you take out all the things from it, you know. Make sure the shell and the shell and nothing. Right before you start, you clean your meat. You know, so the customer and I know, clean now, boy. Right where you mess out, you just continue scraping. You know, as you as, as you scrub, you go see you know, a lay skin still, a lay skill. And you see, I put this aside. This is from the skill, so I go show you what. We just do it this now. Here, don't show it that. We just do that. I'm sure there's a technique. For all who don't know, when I don't clean my tattoo, I'm sure there's a technique for my father to teach me. I'm sure there's everything here, but you know, I can show there a few. So make good dog. Okay, scrub down your tattoo, good. Put that nothing. No skill or nothing on the TV. And also when you live in, you know, up in the countryside, our thing and is a is a hunter. This is your number one living. You know you do do shame on your hustle because you go out there and you make the money. That's when people go say why. They are against hunting. There are plenty of people who just be against hunting all yeah. You know, but when you really check it, some people just do that for a living, you know, just like fishing, some people just do that for a living. There are plenty of people up here that do that for a living, you know. I hear you just live a day to day basis when you have your family to mind and thing and put a choice and to, you know, do these things, so, you know. Some people just understand and some people just, just fight down the thing right you, you know. But, the fight down will never stop once you live in, so. When you finish your touch right, you scrub out the head. Everything makes sure there are nothing on it. That's what to look like you go in the prom. You know, clean. Right. So otherwise, otherwise I'm studying how much uh, sell a tattoo for. Right, normally tattoo so go. You feel that that's a problem, but you know, over the years, pressure are people buying any, any tattoo and they answer in a cheap internet like this. So, the price of that right now is $70 a problem, you know? $70 a problem. 
And I'm the most I can to my to is about a 10 11 pong. That's the biggest that to go have, you know. Sometimes it does get 12, but according to the um the moon, you know. So sad I'm gonna say yeah, sticking out the, the bottom part this. Yeah, that's the toughest. Keep this on all the bottom. That does help. I will show you how I do this. So now we do it. So when you need a sharp knife, or check. You know, you gotta be careful because I will show you some just now. You see this? See, I don't touch it already. Simple touch that again. The stadium, the shit kit all you. The simple touch that again. Don't make that boss on you, you know. That's my stick. And that does also spoil the meat sometimes. So when you buy when you're buying meat and you find it tasting kind of how it's this bag. You see when this bag boss? Right? So you had to take your time and think of that. That does have a stinkering plate. You know, say so always have to take your time when you're cleaning things. When you're cleaning part of meat. Make sure that him boss. Make sure your knife him pass close because a sharp knife does rank up a rank up the meat, you know. Touch. Take out that, don't forget to hold it, you know. Just don't make it touch your meat. Just don't make it touch your meat all yeah. So starting from the bottom, and you're looking to cut out that. Get that, get that one side in the back there. See this? Leave it on the side. Watch. Two two. Ta two 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 over here. Kidney. Yeah, what is skip that day? This. I can teach you a little technique here, but you see with this and and this. I did gal earlier. Don't make that boss neither. That goes over here, me. I'm gonna show sure, you yeah, what has been here. I'm gonna show sure, you yeah, what has been here. Yeah. If you make this thing, what's in your meat? That. See that? See, that would be gross. Eh? That goes right now, eh? but you know. Don't make that boss in your meat all yeah. Don't make this boss in your meat. Yeah. Don't see what I eat. Watch it. That worm and Santa Piot. That worm. Watch it. Watch it. Coconut worm. <laughs> Okay, what you all That is the last meal you eat before you get it. You know? Watch it, don't make that boss in your meat. You see, much. Look at Santa P all you. This is a Santa P here. Right? Now you die, die, die. What that tattoo does feast on? A Santa P, a worm, all kind of things. I'm going to wash out that. And what this, you know? Watch it. Wash so out that. Right? You bust your bag and you clean it out. This go in, in this heap too. You know, this is the this, this, this is the bag was all in their food. You know? You bust up your intestine. You ain't showing away this at all. Well. You know, all this does make a good dog. You know? If your dog eating tattoo got sanding all day, you know, there's a star dog. You know, you get again. Then you send from. from we start now, especially when you're a young dog. We right now we had three young dogs. I was sure you just now. Right now we had three young dogs. They come and put that outside there. And they're washing out here. And they're testing on them. Let's bust them up. Yeah, you can have to touch a little too. Tattoo too too. But it's worth it. It's worth it because when you have a good dog chilling, 
Ah nih, bakem kaki lagi main nih. Kita kita bos sudah. Das, entah siapa yang tip atau lah tip. This part might be good so all yeah So if all you know all you know you know So Just 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 stop stop Pause it skip it skip it all in two minutes You know in two minutes I'm I done If all you know all you know get good so Skip it all in two minutes Jangan nak tipu nol ya. Then we said nothing from the tattoo at all. This year is the most important part and it is from the rest yet. See the lungs and the heart, that is the most important part of the, of the thing. If your dog can eat her lungs all yeah, because they, they, they doesn't need this at all, but if they can eat this, right? And you can eat. You always, every time you, every time you kill a tattoo, yeah, you take out and you get them. You go see something. I promise you, you go in and have a shooter by the time you're that dog ready for hunt. But you know, it coming, it coming. Once I get the time, well, yeah, I go in all day. When I ready for them, I ready for them. I'm a dog she buy money today. You know, we go in for something. Check out money go. Tired or not? Tired? What you can't even open the eye, well, yeah. You tired? I'm just running real hard. And I tell you, don't know, I talk to work, don't know, I talk to work. My next scrub, make sure everything off. I'm gonna go realize it has some hair on the toilet. Yeah. Watch it. I'm gonna go realize it has some hair. Right, so yeah, let's go and hit it a slight bun just to burn out the fine hair and thing. And it has to go and clean the other. Right, so I'll do it and thing. I'll come back with you guys when I go and burn it. And I'll just finish. Kill out some of the, the thing that hang in there. Make sure it's clean enough. I told you, so you got it to tab on. The man all the small hair and then you want to rest it. Because it's that blackness down there, there is a day. You just hit it with that small bun to burn out all the fine hair on it. You know? Nothing much. I must burn on the fine hair. Yes, and that is the time you watch. No more here or there. Everything good. Put your fanny here, you know. Make sure you can have no hair. Right, I know here. Have a good day. Don't do it. Give him a wash out again. sell it so uh, yes we do sell meat you know 70 a pound from well lap lap is 80 a pound right but 30 
with the S250 300, right? I ain't at 100,000, but that would, that would be the price. Come in this year, you know, the Gucci remain stagnant, right? 250, 300 medium size Gucci 250, big Gucci 300 all year, you know. Tattoo 70 dollars a pound, right? Um, I go with this tattoo and show you how much it weighs, right? But mostly tattoo does be around 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You know, yeah, that's how you get 12, so it does more get like 8, 8 and a half, you know, and things. So I'm gonna wait this for that and show you guys. I'm gonna yeah, allow me and use the skill, see me and take it off a cute fish, you know, long a lens, go along a lens to the skill. Tell him, all yeah, so you're gonna see how much you weigh, yeah, right? Alright, this tattoo is seven and a half all year. Seven and a half pound. You know? Seven and a half pound tattoo. Right? So, you know? But it's a freeze and everything and you're good to go. Check it out. How to clean a tattoo with card all year. So I hope all you enjoy this video. I still have to show you the video and done, but I hope all you enjoy how to clean a tattoo all year, you know? The blood stain, you can't take out that really because you know. The dog and them hold it down and when the dog and them hold it down, right? You know what's going on, it's real pressure, real pressure in here. You know, so this is how to clean out that toilet. So I'm gonna put in the fridge and I'm gonna come back with you guys and show you what it's doing. So I'm gonna show you yeah, everything, eh, you know. I'm not gonna show you yeah, everything, but all for all the hunters out there who know this, right? All you're gonna know what I'm gonna do, right? I just gonna show you. Yeah. So you see this part, the lungs and the heart, you put that there, right? You see this part, the liver, you're taking out, you're taking out the gall, the worset, let's cut right around it, you know, let's cut right around it, the worset, the worset at all, you know what's going to happen, the worset and show you yeah. what has been inside it, you know you want as much meat, Right, watch this come closer. Watch this on your boss, it does come out. See that? That 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 poison or that that does make meat once I boss on your meat, that does make the meat um bitter. So when you're cooking and you get a bit of meat, you get a bit of meat, you know, you know you know go on with your meat day. You know you see how that touch um this piece of liver. If I was to cook this over and they said that is bitter, you see, you know. That going down the gene. You know, so this piece you cut, you cut up your piece, you know. Make sure you chop it up in pieces way, you know. And so all the for all the hunters out there who know this shit, you know it always has chick you know, it's always a chick in the game. It always has chick in the game out there. You are here, let's say right. So all the red meat in it. Right, you turn it up, fine, you put it in a container, right, I can't tell all you what I was putting it, right, but for all the hunters out there, you know, the young hunters, ask all you, all you, that and thing, what is for, right, you does, you put in something in this, right, into the hunting, you know, so, now it does create a good dog, let me show you, and next technique, what does create a good dog now, Right, you see this? If you are any young dog, right, you see the um the tattoo scales and stuff, right? If you are any young dog, right, and you had them in a in a cage, right, you go and you jump this way, that does lie down, right? So this scent, this tattoo scent will always be there, you know. So you find they'll always had a like that is making a tattoo dog, right? If you want a strictly tattoo dog. Right from puppy, every time you get a tattoo and you get these skills, right, you go and you rest it with it as lie down and that always they so they always get in that scent, they always have something to you know, cause you know dog scent real high better than we would, right? So they always had this. So when you put them down in, in, in the bush now, you carry them in the bush and you put them down, right? You expect one scent, one scent they smell and scent they puppy, right? So you know they're gonna jam out that tattoo. Right, so you know this is just some techniques you know you're using to really go out there and, and make your dog, you know. Because there are some people who does who does um you know want to know about techniques and stuff and they, they, they doesn't know, they doesn't know so you know me as a young hunter coming out from my old hunter, 
right? I learn real plenty, right? And it is not only tricking people, I can't give away everything because you know if you give away everything, you know you wanna remain with nothing and, and everybody go pick up your technique and you know go out there, right? So you know you know that's our best dog out here, right? You had a higher small technique and stuff, you know, and not giving away everything all year, right? All you know, all you know me a while I do only me this when I start, I start all year. Right, but for now, on the video comment, this is Vlogmas number one all year, right? So so be prepared for a great vlogmas this year. All you don't forget, right? Christmas tree, we are wearing Christmas tree on the 24th of December, Christmas Eve, right? So if you had it, if you want to help out and donate in snacks toys or anything because we giving away toys and snack bags we're making snack bags right and we're going up to last year we make 173 snack bags right this year i want to be able to make 200 snack bags so you know we head into the top one yeah you know 200 snack bags last year we make 60 toys this year if i could go a little bigger make 100 toys 50 boys 50 girls you know everybody could you know put a smile we could also go out there and put a smile on a child face so you know you can do it to help out a child you know for the christmas to make the christmas happy you know there's only one room going and it's up all you so you know and this this you could cook this for the dog the intestine cook that for the dog right so and I ain't forgetting the Christmas day life. It has plenty, it has plenty we working on, right? And you know the Christmas day life coming, right? I want to um, when it as time get closer, right? I want to um, invite six of you you all, right? Kids mostly, right? I want to invite three three children on that ten boys, three children on that ten girls, you know. So, you know, we, we want to enjoy ourselves, right? It's, you know, there's only one life we have all year, and all you had to live it to the max, right? Always enjoy life. Never a dull moment. Don't stress out yourself. Don't have yourself depressed, right? Always live life to your fullest, you know? Life might kick you down, but you can't sit down there. You had to get back up and push forward for it again, you know? And that's why I've been doing, I've been seeing myself getting kicked down so many times and I get back up strong as I am today. Get back up and push forward. Do stuff that you like, do stuff that always will make you happy, you know. It always have things that will make you happy. You will know what does make you happy. Don't study nobody when they tell you, don't go and do this or you can't do that, right. You know yourself, you know your ability. So push forward, do what you do what you need to do to make yourself happy and to keep this bright smile on your face. Just like me, I always smiling because you know I always happy. I don't make nothing come in my way to distract me from being happy. And always remember, distraction is evil, right? Distraction is evil. So don't take, don't develop no way to be distracted, you know you push forward don't get distracted and push 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 because there's only one way we're heading and it's way to the top all year so we out you know you're done already blessing guidance and protection to you guys together in this plus love equal unity tmb and g to the world for life all year action coming just now don't worry all yourself, we have our full vlog mass all year, right? At home now, so all year know what's going on. Plenty videos, you know? And Ivan and them can't wait. Right now Ivan tell me he coming from school to go and shoot fish all year. So you know he tell me prepare myself three o'clock. He coming and we go in and shoot fish, right? So we go in and see after that flood water, the river, the fish and them does come up, right? The bush and them, the sea bush and them does come up the river, right? And hide them bamboo patch and things. So we go in and see what we can do them. So hope you guys enjoy this one and then now already, right? So we out until the next adventure. So guys, hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, like comment, comment, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Don't know how we does do it. Blessing, guidance, and protection to you guys. Together, we're the world. Done already. TNB, Trinity boys. We out. We out.